Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here to day number four of this temporary series where I go around to Southern California eating establishments that are currently opened with a small asterisk. Asterisk, asterisk, for takeout, drive through, or walk up, not sit down. Today I'm heading to Inglewood. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? As always in these recent days, bringing my bag of accessories, you'll notice the throw blanket is not with me. I have to play it by ear where I'm going to eat because I don't know if there's going to be an accessible park nearby. But I do have the folding reclining chair rockers in the back of my vehicle just in case. Big the Foot was just mentioning I might be able to take the carpool lane with him in here. It's a little... I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's legit or not, but I'll just stay in this lane. I have arrived. There's one sign there, but a larger beacon of sorts is right back there. You know, kind of slightly, almost. If I was standing a little, a couple feet that way, it would be obscured by this one. The closer I get to this donut, the larger 30 something feet, I believe, that thing is. You can see the drive through is filling up. That is an immense circular item. Goodness gracious. Almost, almost good enough to eat. Beckoning those off the freeway. Very close to LAX, next to the airport. In fact, you can see this from plane flights into LA. It has been quite a while since I have been to this establishment. And I'm certain the passengers on that airliner might be looking down with a tad bit of jealousy. Or at least saying, what the heck, that's one big donut. This iconic landmark has been used in more television, commercials, TV shows, music videos, and feature films than one could shake a stick at. In fact, Iron Man himself was sitting right up in the center of that thing. From, from what I recall. Stated here, world famous since 1962. As best I can recollect from what I read, Randy's the name come from one of the former owners, his son. From this perspective, the space shuttle Endeavor cruised by and quite the congregation of folks were gathered here. There are some photos from this angle of it driving down Manchester, which runs parallel to this. So just picture a full-size space shuttle cruising down the, the avenue. Thankfully, the rain as I was driving in subsided just a bit. Still overcast, but stop sprinkling. Walk just across to the corner of La Cienega. I never know how to pronounce that. I'm, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a native of this area, so some of the some of the road names I mispronounce. But it's on the corner of La Cienega and Manchester. A very busy intersection. And they are doing takeout orders as well as drive through which means I'm gonna walk up, get myself probably a dozen of these. Never can have too many. Let me take some home with me for later. Got it all organized. They were cones. If you were to make a list of, you know, a, a list of items, structures around this area, it would probably be in the top 10, maybe 20, maybe even, maybe even top five that you would recognize from greater Los Angeles. I don't know if that's a fact, but it's just, everyone knows the donut. It's been spoofed, it's been utilized, it's been recreated many times, but this is the original. The ultra large donut hole and donut that surrounds the donut hole. There is a visual menu there on the window. 
I'm probably just gonna get an assortment. They might actually just give a full dozen, but I'm gonna pick and choose until I have 12. Maybe even get a baker's dozen, which is 13. Although 13 of something that size would not fit in my car. Can almost make out the, the pictured menu. Go in just a tiny bit closer there. Yeah, it's tough to tell. I need to I need to be up on it and see it with my own eyes. But you can tell there is a massive assortment of products of the sweet persuasion circular form. You might get a coffee too. You could use a little caffeine. Alright, there are mixed dozens. I might go for the mixed dozen number three for $16.50. Six classics, four deluxe two premium. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have them fill the box. This thing is looming down upon me. Another airliner going over. There goes. Oh wait, got the... I was thinking of another transportation device. Their coffee they refer to as Randy's Roast. I'm gonna get a large one of those and then a dozen mix and match. I'm just gonna say surprise me. Well, I'm not gonna say surprise me, I'm just gonna order it. As well as these t-shirts, I might, I might, you know what, I think I am gonna get a t-shirt. If they have it in my size, I'm gonna get the standard tea. These look pretty tasty as well. I'm not gonna have room. I'm not gonna have room for these. They do look good. What a oh, what will they choose for my stomach? These are the premiums, normally $2.80 each. Next to them are the Fancies, the Deluxe, and the Classic. Some mugs down here that are pretty neat. I have enough coffee, coffee mugs as it is, but that's, that's a nice little to-go cup. Caffeine coming up next. They, they, were, they were out of the t-shirt design that I wanted, so no t-shirt today. Basically, I'm just gonna hang out here and do a little tailgating. Well, not in this spot. I'm gonna go over to my vehicle. Under the shroud of this. I thought I could get that entire thing in the frame of the shot. But as proven, I didn't. <laughs> not a bad view from where I will be perching. A van just pulled up with an American flag painted on the side and the time has reared its head this is what let's get the napkins out of there this is what we're dealing with okay i believe it was four okay or maybe it was six i think it was six basic ones or the 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 normal ones, and then four premium, and then two of the extra special premium. I'm just, I'm kind of just like talking off the rails here because I cannot remember what the menu said, but nonetheless, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and oh yes, the baker's dozen has been completed with 13. I got to recount those six on this side. This chunky filled, it looks like maybe some is that Oreo? I think that's Oreo on there. Makes 12 and that one makes 13. I'm going to have some leftovers for a while. This glaze right here looks rather tasty. Which one do I go with? You know, that's, oh my goodness, that one, I don't know. I think I might just go with the standard. I'm just going to go with this. This is good for now. I think this works. Yeah, this is happening. I really should reiterate, this is not what I normally will eat. Very rarely will I consume a lot of sweets. If I'm at a theme park, you know, I'll get a treat like that, but I, I really, most things that are eaten by myself are in the form of food. Not that this isn't food, but you know what I'm saying. I'm going in. Mmm. Oh my. Okay, dang. Dang. 
the rare times that I do. That is a tasty donut. I think there's a little cream in there too. I'm not the neat, the neatest eater. I'm a little bit messy. You can see some of the remnants that has dropped down there onto the concrete. You know what? I'm going for it. I'll have 11 as leftovers, so I'm going to go with one more and have my second one here in my personal own solo tailgate party at Randy's. This is happening. So look, it's just all over my tips of my fingers. Oh man, sugar intake overload. Pretty good. I like the other one a little better, probably because it's cream filled. They're pretty good too. As best I can tell, this is like a little substation where they store some of the extra and they cook some of the dough. Maybe they cook them in there and then they transport them over to there. When I first approached, when I first walked up, I didn't think this was quite operational, but now yeah, you see people coming in and out of there. And when the door was open, you could see there were racks and racks of freshly made delicious donuts. Up oh, there goes another plane. Whew, that is it for me for now. Oh man, maybe this amount may have been a little too much. I'm having trouble putting the top back back on it. This these will last me a while. It says they are open 24 hours. They don't close. And the employee, when he went into the the storage section, tried to see if he had the t-shirt design I wanted. Took a little little longer than I think he or I expected. And I forgot to reiterate that I needed cream or sugar in my coffee. So I'm drinking this sans cream or sugar, which I don't do too often. So I'm going, I'm going with just the straight up coffee with no other. No other additives. And I can tell the, the heat is permeating through the cup, the plastic paper cup. This is pipingly toasty. Oh, that's warm. And there's not a lot of sweetness in it. But it kind of works because I have so much sweetness from the two donuts that I ate. That's hot. That's good. It's nice, a nice combo. Because I still have some sugary residue all in my mouth, so it kind of makes its own sweetener in the coffee. That's going to do it for today. <laughs> if you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and update on future uploads here on this channel. You can take it a step further and ring that notification bell. Is that, is that framed up right? I could probably angle it just a little bit like that maybe. I don't know. We, I guess either one of them works. If you enjoyed this particular episode, I might be reiterating and repeating myself. Give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know. Now I think that's a little too... A little too... Upward. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. See you in the next video, the vlog. Oh, that's good. It really is good. Even straight like that is over. That's a dang good question, Big the Foot. How long will these stay fresh? Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna eat these in the next couple days. It might take a week or two. Guess I'll have to wait and see. Oh, you're gonna help? I didn't know you liked donuts.